Hey everyone, this is Greg, and this is my niche website, The Stadium Reviews. I'm going to share what happened in 2019 to give you some perspective, some numbers, and to tell you kind of how the SEO is working for the website. So here we are in the table of contents. I'm going to go over traffic, the cost of running a new website, and the hours I generally work per week. Top wins within Google. I have two uh, screenshots just from uh, SERP listings. Uh, affiliate numbers, I'm not going to share actual revenue, but I'm going to share percentages. And then finally, I think what's most critical for me is the roadmap for 2020. Basically, here we are in the SEO. Now, this is actual data from Google Analytics. This is an entire year's recap. Now, I didn't start this website until either the end of March or the very beginning of April. Um, and the reason why is because I might have I think I bought hosting and I started to build out the site at the end of March. So I really wasn't getting any traffic until about April anyway. Um, but you can see 16,000 uh, sessions, but most important new users was just under 15,000 uh, for the year. But the growth basically took um, each month was growth in sessions. And then finally, December was my best month um, with over 3000 visits. Search engine market share breakdown, Google 64%, Bing and Yahoo 31, DuckDuckGo 4%, and then the rest are all below. Bing and Yahoo at 31% is going to shock a lot of people. Now, if you've been following me on TM Blast, which is my business, I talk a lot about Yahoo and Bing. I'm always sharing tips about ways you can drive more traffic from those search engines. So. If you are interested in how you can maybe grow your traffic in those search engines, definitely come to the website, read some of the blogs, and look at some of the presentations. It's all in there. Top organic landing pages in 2019. So New Era Field was my best. Uh, that's the Buffalo Bills Stadium. Now, the reason why that did so well is that um, I got featured as at, as within the snippets and the answer box within Google. You'll see that a little bit later on, but that was the main traffic driver, which is pretty incredible because the football season's only from September to, for the Bills, September to December, uh, but it made up the most traffic for the entire year. Um, organic page views. I don't spend a lot of time looking at this. I know a lot of affiliate marketers will spend more time looking at page views and they try to calculate um, how many more page views they need to generate more traffic or sorry, more revenue. I focus mainly on sessions and new users, but um, I figured I'd put this in there if you wanted to see that. Here we go. Costs, weekly hours worked. So for 2019, I bought the domain and I have hosting for five years. It's about $3,000 when you consider the upfront cost. Tools, now I use a plethora of SEO marketing tools specifically for this website, along also with some others that are in between clients, TM Blasts, and also this website. But it's generally, it was around $2,000 for the year, um, if you want to just break that out. And then hours worked. So I say about 20 hours a week, really from April till the end of December. Um, and hours worked are really just uh, doing research, writing content, um, finding pictures on Dreamtime. That's one of the SEO tools I put on as well. Um, so I can use, because I don't, I don't take any images off Google um, or Bing. I specifically pay for the pictures for every stadium. Unless I've gone to the stadium, then they're my own. Um, so every picture that's on the site has either been for myself or actually I bought the rights to use that, uh, use that image. But, um, the amount of hours that were worked, I would say the more hours were up front, really just, again, trying to build out the site. Now, I did it in a way that I don't uh, I don't really recommend because I wrote the content really quick and I didn't spend a lot of time editing the content. So there are some grammatical errors within a lot of pages. Uh, it's something that I'm actually for 2020, that's a big plan of mine to kind of go through and really re-edit and make sure that I'm in a better position for the baseball season. So it's January now. I should be in really good shape uh, once April rolls around. So affiliate growth. Now, the two ways I generate revenue from the website are from Google AdSense and Spot Hero. And it's been about a 53% month over month growth uh, since July. Now, the reason why I say since July is that April and June were just, the numbers were too low, so percentage growth would be uh, confusing to share. 
But um, really, I would say from July on, I know roughly how much I'm getting per month on average. And I have an idea of how many um, how many sessions it takes to generate X amount in AdSense and then also from Spot Hero. Now, Spot Hero, I'm still learning because Spot Hero is very seasonal. So I had my best month in December, but part of that was because it was the end of the football season and also a lot of bowl games were going on with LSU and Clemson at uh, the Mercedes... Um, Ben's Superdome uh, out in New Orleans, and also the State Farm Stadium out in Arizona as well. A lot of bowl games, a lot of interest, a lot of traffic. That was actually my best day. I had over 300 plus visits in one day. That was great. Um, but anyway, Spot Hero is really seasonal because now that we are in January, um, football is not going to happen. It's coming up week, and then the next week is Super Bowl uh, out in Hard Rock Stadium, so no one's going to care about MetLife Stadium parking or Gillette Stadium parking because those teams are not in it. Plus, the venue will not be hosting the Super Bowl. So I'm expecting January, February, and March to be relatively low. But I'm in a really good position for April and September, or April through September, because that's the baseball season, and those are my best rankings. Um, I, I, do, <clears throat> I do have some other goals as well for 2020, outside of AdSense and... Spot Hero, so things I'm looking at are SeatGeek, Amazon, but of course other affiliate programs for testing. Um, I think that's always important to kind of diversify. So here are some emails I get from Google, just the growth. So uh, November and December, I redacted the actual amount, but you can see it's still growth month over month, so that's important. Top wins in Google, real quick, New Hour Field Parking, I mentioned this at the start. I have the featured snippets, I have the answer box right there. It's actually above the Buffalo Bills' own official website. That's why I drove so much traffic to the page. That's why if you ever get to position one in Google, you'll see a lot of traffic. Um, but it's even again on page one, though, you'll get traffic. But especially, though, if you're on the top position, you'll get the most clicks. And also, I wrote a blog post about indoor baseball stadiums. It was kind of a joke. Um, this blog post, honestly, there's just a lot of search volume around this. So I decided to give my own thoughts about, you know, indoor baseball stadiums because I went to Tropicana Field and Rogers Center in 2019. So I thought I had something to say. Okay, here is now the last slide. SEO plans for 2020. So I break down to four quadrants. Top left being most important for both traffic and revenue. Bottom right being uh, the least important. So I want to just explain each quadrant a little bit. So the top left, work on grammar and writing style. Um, I believe this is going to be big for both traffic and revenue because if grammatically it looks incorrect, even as a page one feature listing, people might not click on it. So therefore traffic might be down and also the uh, revenue could also be impacted because you're not getting as many clicks. Plus also I'm going to change up my writing to really focus a lot on um, using Spot Hero essentially to get your parking because when I talked to the rep over at Spot Hero, one advice that she gave me was to really emphasize that it's not even so much money you can save, but it's just claiming that parking space before you drive uh, to the venue. That's actually one of the main reasons to use the app because you want to have parking before you get there. Not so much about, it, you can save money too, but really having that space will also decrease the amount of uh, um, stress that comes involved with going out to um, a different location. Other things as well, moved uh, page one queries to the top of page one. So again, indoor baseball stadium, that's an example. That's position one now. Same thing with new era field parking. Another way is to move page two keywords to page one. It sounds super obvious, but it's such an opportunity that if you're on page two, you get to page one, you'll increase your traffic. Uh, moving to, I will say, the top, uh, top right. So to improve traffic, improve the load time. Now, some of my pages are very slow, and I know that. Part of the issue is that there are some caching, uh, expire caching opportunities for um, the site, but I also have some limitations as well. AdSense and Spot Hero, you can't change their load or their expires time. So it's you, when you rely on third parties, essentially, you, you can't change their load time, but there are some things I can do, like image size and also JavaScript reduction. Answer questions within the content. 
it can definitely increase traffic. I'm not sure about how much revenue though. For example, if someone searched for, uh, can you bring a backpack into Gillette Stadium? I mean, that's, you can increase your traffic because people might be searching for that, but I'm not really, I'm not really sure if that's going to matter for revenue. Um, also, expand the keyword universe and keep writing content. Again, uh, it's it, that's kind of vague because my main pages are these parking pages, so just writing content uh, for the sake of just trying to increase traffic might not increase revenue at all. Bottom left, uh, bottom left uh, to the left, yeah. Uh, so low low value for se uh, SEO traffic, but maybe high revenue opportunities. This is all around affiliate, so looking at data within AdSense to find opportunities. Um, I'm going to test moving spot hero up higher within the page. So before they were much below the main fold. Now they're going to be a little bit higher. We'll see what happens with that. Um, and then, of course, research new affiliate programs. Try and find ways to diversify these listings. Bottom right. So low value for SEO traffic is things like I've used Reddit in the past to kind of post a review or parking tips. Generally, they get some traffic, but no one really ever clicks on any of the ads or buys any of the parking, so it's sort of irrelevant. It just looks nice on a Google Analytics report, but that's why I don't share those numbers. I only share organic, because those other numbers could be influenced by simply posting on Reddit. One thing that this website started as specifically about baseball stadiums, and I wanted to just review every ballpark. I've been to 15 now, and I plan to go to two to three new ones in 2020, and basically every year after that. Um, but those pages don't generate a lot of traffic, and they really don't gener generate any revenue. So yeah, it's important for me to write them, but they're not as they're not my focus as what the stadium reviews was originally. So I pivoted. Um, I'm still going to write them, but I know they're not that important. Another thing was I created a lot of videos around documenting every stadium I went to, and Again, they don't drive any traffic. They don't drive any new users to my site. They don't generate any revenue. Um, it's fun to do, but they're not that important. So I'll do them, but I put a lot less emphasis in video creation than I did at the start of the year. Move map listings below the parking pages to improve load time. It's just something I'm going to test to see what happens. I'm sure it's going to be very minimal, so it won't even matter to necessarily report. And then finally, link building. I... It's weird, and I know link building could drive extra traffic and could potentially drive extra revenue. So link building is a little different than affiliate marketing. Affiliate, if I could find places to post my site on to drive commission uh, value back, that's different. If I simply get listed on a place for, you know, Tropicana Field Review, again, maybe it passes some SEO juice, but I'm not too concerned about actually trying to find links. In fact, I don't do any link building anyway, so that's not going to change in 2020. So anyway, that's the recap. That's the um, the review of 2019. When I hit April, that will be a full year of just working and getting traffic. So I'll probably do another video as well. But anyway, thanks for watching. And as always, have a good rest of your day.